All right, so we are in this Vaseline forest. Um, <laughs> that's where we left off last time. I did put in the pre-order code for the Pokeballs. So we have a few Pokeballs now. Um, unfortunately, the other code didn't work. So I don't know if you have to use one for one game and one for the other game. Um, <clears throat> which is weird because it says on the card, you know, you can use it in either game. So I don't know what happened with that. Um, kind of annoying because I'd have to play up through what the first gym a little past that just to be able to get the pokeballs um but yeah I may not be able to get them in this version anyway so here's our team if you missed it we've got Advil the Psyduck Lockjaw the Grottle I think that's the second Evo for Turtwig uh Dwayne the Rock Geodude Razzle Dazzle, who is our Luxio, Boyne, our Zubat, and Egg. Egg. Just Egg. So, that's what we're working with today. Vaseline Forest. That's a new combo of words. Look at it. This is the Vaseline Forest, Tim. Look at it. What would you call it? Ew, nasty. This forest is full of bug Pokemon and Vaseline. Sneaky Beaky behind the tree. What's cool, you might ask? No, I'll tell you any. Bug Pokemon, no one thinks that. Well, unless you're counting, like, Heracross. But if you're talking what you what you have, which is probably three Caterpie, d no. Oh, Wurmple, I was close. Egg is the star, clearly. I suppose it's supposed to look like mist, but yeah, it looks like Vaseline on your glasses. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of that style. As I've said, it I, my eyes don't like going from the clear to the, like, blurry like that. It just messes with my eyes and makes me feel a little sick. So I'm trying to focus on just the, um... You to fly. I'm trying to focus on just the clear parts. Wormpole is cuter than Caterpie. Mm, I guess I'll give you that. Wormpole does have a butt for a face. Is this Eterna Forest? I believe so, Kotana. Beautyfly, you are making this difficult for Advil. So I've decided that against my better judgment, I'm going to get Chimchar as my starter. I've never used one before. Star gazing, making poor decisions out here. <laughs> I mean, I I will say that Chimchar, at least Chimchar's evolutions aren't aren't as bad. I mean, in my opinion, I know that there's people who love Chimchar, and that's totally fine. Um, I just tend to not like the monkey Pokemon. But I do think that his evolutions are better. Seeing these eyes, man, <laughs> creeping through. Onions aren't bugs. It does look like an onion. Bug catcher Jack, huh? Sir, you need a better hobby. Oh wait, you keep healing me, don't you? Do I have to talk to you to, for you to heal me? Or do you do it automatically? Oh, she does automatically. Well, that's nice. I think I'm gonna um, take advantage and put Boyne up front then. Try to get some levels. When does Boyne evolve? Is it 22 for Golbat? 
Oh, we got creepy twins. Well, they're actually not twins for once. It's just a dual battle. This is so bad when you move around in here. Yep. It is 22. Okay. So still got a little bit to go. Oh, I didn't know you had a Pokemon, Cheryl. Well. Man, everybody's Abra has cool moves. My Abra didn't have cool moves. Ten times worse than Link's Awakening on the Switch. This particular area is, um, the rest isn't as bad. But yeah, playing this in handheld mode, I don't know if I could... I don't know if that would be good for me with the smaller screen. Come on, Boyne. Nice job. The NPCs do cheat. They have all these cool moves. I had nothing. I am the knight. <laughs> They are wrecking Chansey. <clears throat> Chansey's pretty tanky, too. Nice, Blaine. A little bit closer. <laughs> Their faces. All right, well, bye. Oh, two Badoos. Interesting. I mean, I guess, I guess that would increase your chance of a shiny if you're seeing two Pokemon at once. Funny, Yeri. Look at that cutie. However, I feel like Cheryl would kill it. But duo? <laughs> True. Oh, two butts. Wormple. That was one step. Wildcat, Gen 1 in a cave. That is your life right there. One step and it's a Zubat. Chansey was the second worst Pokemon to encounter in the original games. It got so much health, and in the original games, the HP drop was not optimized, so you would have to sit there and wait as the HP slowly dropped. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just want to go fight this bug catcher. Blissey was even worse. It would literally take minutes. Blissey was good for grinding, though. You can get Murkrow at night here. Oh, wow. Well. My senses tingle. Great. Well. Boyne, if you could learn a flying move, that would be dandy. The hell is that? <laughs> we can do this, buddy. Destroy the kid.
They half nerfed, half buffed Zubat. Oh, goodness. He's he grew a mustache. That thing is too tall. It no longer learns a flying move before it evolves, but it does get poison fang super early. Mm. So we're gonna have to wait till we get gold bat for Boyne to have a flying move. Bummer. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Zafia. It's like taller than that kid. No, thank you. Advil, nice job. Lockjaw as well. Zen headbutt. Get rid of Fury Swipes. Oh, wow, 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 wow. <clears throat> Some good dialogue right there, buddy. And what do you have for us? Oh, a Wurmple. I'm shocked. Come on, Boyne. Are you trying to poison me? The master of poison? I don't think so. Dust talks? Is that the evolution of... Mm, is it Burmy? You're gross, whatever you are. I'm not about this, Moth. You think he's cute? <laughs> I think Frostmuth is the best moth. Are you kidding me? I'm confused about the logistics of its eyes. It's the final evolution of Wormpole. Are you kidding me? You wanna start, buddy? Think not. One of two final evolutions. What's the other one? Cascoon. Oh, Beauty Fly is the other one? Well, I would rather have Beauty Fly, I think. Although I'm pretty picky when it comes to bug Pokemon. My faves would probably be Heracross, Vika Volt. Good job, Razzle. Uh, Snom and Frostmith. Cascoon learned from Metapod, I bet. <laughs> Whenever I see Cascoon, I'm always reminded of the Nightmare of Gen 3. I wanted a Cascoon, but they kept evolving into into Cascoon? Goliopede is your favorite bug? Oh. I get you. 
That makes sense. You meant Silcoon. Okay. <laughs> it's like it evolved into itself. Vivian is your favorite bug Pokemon? That's the one that has a bunch of different patterns, right? Which is kind of cool. I think if I had to pick one, I'd probably go with uh, Frostmouth. I mean, Snom technically, but... Caught so many Wurmple and they kept evolving into goddamn Cascoon. So, it, it's random. It's not based on the gender of the Pokemon. Oh, it's Diaper Baby. I'll go after the Walmart brand of Advil. Oh, auto mod got Cortana. I think it was during Pokemon White, my Scoliopede was wrecking everything. It was glorious. He's pretty strong. The patterns are determined by your region. That's what I remember. Yeah, there were a bunch of them too. Trying to collect all of those would have been difficult. Oh, Chansey's dead. Wormpole has a, have a personality value that you cannot see. The personality value is what determines what it evolves into. Oh, that is annoying. I will say, if I do decide to complete the Pokedex, I am not looking forward to getting Melotic. Uh, because apparently Phoebus is kind of annoying to get. Rude? You leave Boyne alone? Ma'am, do you not have another Pokemon? Phoebus can choke? It's like this tiny little area where you have to fish. In Gen 3 and 4, Phoebus is the worst Pokemon to find. Yeah, I, I don't think they changed that. Come on, Lockjaw. You gotta, you gotta do this. Well, you know, my partner just like, I guess has one Pokemon. Kind of a problem. So I guess I'll carry the team, it's fine. GG, Dwayne. Phoebus only spawns in like four water tiles. There's no way to tell which tile, so you gotta fish like 10 times in each tile. Ugh. That'll be fun. You gotta do that for an entire lake. Great. <laughs> Exciting. I'm just trying to make sure I don't miss any Pokeballs. forest is bigger than I thought. There might be a way around that according to the guide I'm looking at. Ooh. Do tell. So I read that they no longer lock the secret key behind an event. You can change Rotom form freely now, thank the gods. Oh, that's cool. If you mix records with people in your group, the four tiles Phoebus is found in will be synced and the same across the people in your group. This could make finding the Phoebus tiles simpler and more fun. 
know if I'd go straight to more fun, but... Oh, there's the exit. I'm so relieved. We finally got here. I would have never been able to get through this by myself. No, you wouldn't. In fact. Assign a quadrant of the lake to different people and have a race to see who finds it first. It could be a challenge. It could make it a challenge. Okay. Let's see. Oh, that's better to look at. Yes, we're finally out of the Vaseline forest. You know what? What do we have up here? Oh. Weasel. You're kind of cute. Just need to get Wayne to 22. We're so close. Thankfully, you never have to return to that forest. There's a shortcut that lets you skip it. Yeah, I saw the little trees there for cut. Or you can just fly to cities. Yeah. So... Unless we need to go in there to catch Pokemon, we don't have to go back there. Bye! Berries? Yeah, it's a floaty around its neck. <laughs> You want Shellos and or Patrisu for your team? Uh, no. But thank you. Thank you for asking, Kotana. I, I want... I think I'm going to go for Houndoom. For our fire type. I think that's really the only new addition. Which will probably take the slot of the egg once it hatches. How's egg doing? Sounds can be heard coming from inside. The egg will hatch soon. I'll be the judge of that. Well, everyone's doing pretty well level-wise. Can you look up where exactly to find Houndoom? Thanks, Kotana. I'm pretty sure Houndoom is in the underground. I just don't know where, but I think we'll be able to get there soon. Because you guys said we don't have to do the second gym before going into the underground. But do get out of here. Get out. No. It's a squirrel. That's your favorite Pokemon, Buizel. <laughs> All right, let's fight these fishermen. Or not? Do you not want to fight me? Oh, you do. Okay. Ashley's following us game to game now. Oh, Bidoof. In Brilliant Diamond, there's a 100% encounter rate for Houndoom. Oh, good. Goldine, how are you floating? There is no water. Dang, level 14. Oh, Blaine. Oh, 
Love the dumb look on the beaver Pokemon. <laughs> It is taking a bit. Still find it weird that you can find Houndoom before a Houndour. Where's Houndour at? Oh, geez. What do you have? Six Magikarp? Well, there's one. Get ready. Kill me. Just wow. Wow, he's gonna send a Magikarp? I'm shocked. I just, why? Why so many? You can find Houndoom also in Route 214 and 215 via Poke Radar at night, as uncommon. When do you get the Poke Radar, though? I don't think you get that until you um, get the game. I don't think you can find a Houndour without breathing. Huh. Mr. Reedman! Hey, kid, want to see my six fish suffocate on this dock? Poke Radar is post game, that's what I thought. After national deck. Magikarp does evolve into Gyarados, which is great, but still. I don't see this man uh, evolving his magic harp. Hope everyone is well this Sunday. I'm grinding my Rhyhorn to 42 for Rhydon, so I have some semblance of beating the fourth gym who is water. Good luck, Mr. Moon. I'm trying to just get, I'm trying to get Blaine to uh, evolve into a gold bat. And it is just a slow process. Getting the national decks in Gen 4 is optional. You need to have encountered all of the Sinnoh decks to unlock it. Okay. Yeah, I don't think he knows how to evolve magic. <laughs> hey, Lunatic Goose. Rhyhorn has Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, and Bulldoze with a whopping 30 special attack. <laughs> well. <clears throat> I remember battling a Fisher in Gold Silver having a level 40 Magic Carp. I'm like, what is the point? I don't think they know how to evolve them. They must just be stopping them. <laughs> Common is 20 to 100%, uncommon 5 to 20%, rare is 1 to 5%. Oh, geez. In Platinum, you can find a level 100 wild magic carp. Well, that's unfortunate. It's like in the top 
5% of Magikarp. Oh god, not again. There are other water Pokemon, guys. I know that might be hard for you to believe, but there are. Do you need a stone to evolve Magikarp? Magikarp evolves at level 20. Um, so if you see somebody with a Magikarp that is over 20, they just didn't evolve it for whatever reason. like the splash attack. You know what? Maybe they do. Getting a Gyarados was a grind back in the day because you didn't have experience share. So you'd have to put Magikarp in the front, like throw him out, and then immediately switch to a different Pokemon so you'd get a little experience. And the one that you could buy was at level 5. So you would have to do that until it got to level 20. It was such a grind, but Gyarados was awesome. So we did it anyway. Remember that New Year's event in Sword and Shield where dens were nothing but giant fucking Magikarp with high shiny chance? Good times. It was good times. I think I ended up getting two shiny Magikarp. We have a clip of that. Magikarp's the only one who can beat Garatina. Maybe he ke he kept pressing B when Magikarp tries to evolve. He just can't help it. Oh, hello. Got a potion. The routes mentioned for I mentioned for Houndoom is only for Shining Pearl. Okay, so we'll have to get him in the underground then. That's fine. We're about to go there. Hello. Feels great riding a bike with the wind in your face, doesn't it? Wow, 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 wow. Presumptuous much? Do you think I can afford a bike? Um, pretty sure you're the bad guys. Hey, you. Yeah, you, trainer. Uh, it's okay. Never mind. You look tough. I won't- t uh, I'll just let you keep your Pokemon. Carry on. Yeah, that's right. I'm ten years old. Don't fuck with me. Hey, Cynthia. Oh, is that a Pokedex? You must be helping Professor Rowan. What's your name? Okay. Hello, Kita. I'll be sure to remember that name. My name is Cynthia. I'm a trainer just like you, except way better. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately just out of curiosity. Here in Eterna City, there's a statue of an ancient Pokemon. According to myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows, you may encounter something like it while you're traveling with your Pokedex. Try using these, they should help you on your way. Oh, thanks. Stargazing. Oh, hey, cut. Remember, you can use the hidden move cut from your poke etch in the field. It'll let you go places that were previously inaccessible to you. That's important for filling up your Pokedex, right? Then let, then luck be with you, young trainer. Thanks, Cynthia. Bye. Hey, Cynthia, wish you weren't shaped like a pop. <laughs> the team, I love how they just like strategically put some trees in front of the Team Galactic building. Also like, they literally just... I'm... That's a criminal organization. They're not even going to use like a Waffle House or something as a front. They're just like, nope, this is our hideout. Okay. Tim! This art style does not suit you. It does not, but her actual art is pretty great. Also, she's a really good trainer. Like, she's pretty tough. Team Galactic took my Pokemon away. They took other people's, too. Something should be done, but Team Galactic creeps everyone out. Where are the police? 
We're the Poke Police. Where's Officer Jenny? Oh, friendship checker. Sweet. We actually need that because um, Golbat needs to have high friendship to evolve into Crobat. So that's actually good. Um, I... Is this it? I guess. How do I tell if they are friendly from that app? That makes no sense. Hidden moves? Okay. How many apps do I have for this thing? Yeah, this is just the health. So this must be the friendship checker. How does this work? This tells me nothing. Well, they can just bounce around up there, I guess. Cynthia was the origin of many nightmares, especially when you played Gen 4 and survived her to only encounter her in Gen 5. It would definitely provoke a trauma response. <laughs> they say this is an old city. It doesn't look like it, though. Okay. Since you're visiting Eterna, you need to get yourself a bike. Yeah, I do. Do you have one? Going underground with the Explorer kit is a blast, isn't it? I don't know. I have not done that. Um. Well, I guess I have a free house now. Nobody's living here, so it's mine. I am taking this house. When you click on the Pokemon, it would spawn hearts. Zero, one, two, or three. They each represent a range of your friendship value. None of them love me yet? Not even you, Lockjaw? Advil, I see you hiding down there. Condominiums. Oh, the name raider is in there. All right, so we got a mart there. There's the cycle shop. Well, I'll leave their um, HP up then. There we go. Underground man's house. Have you seen our building? Team Galactic is so stinking rich that we can have one built instantly. That's not... It would still take a little while. Advil is being a perfect Psyduck. Yes, he is. I'm the first one to start digging in the underground. Okay, you can call me the underground man. Everyone else does. He is a character in Tulip. I'll make a gift of this to you. You hold up your end of the deal and put it to good use. Sweet. The Explorer Kit. Let me mentor you as you become a full-fledged spelunker. Just follow my lead. Sir, I was going to talk to the other people. Okay. First, go to the Grand Underground. Going underground is quite easy. Simply use your Explorer Kit. Can't be used indoors or in a cave. Now give it a try. Oh, oh, he is- he has taken control of my inventory. Oh, jeez. Well, F to me. Oh, I remember you. Hey, Kita, this your first time here? Welcome to Sinnoh's Grand Underground. This is a network of tunnels, caves, and caverns lying beneath Sinnoh. Huh? What am I doing down in this expanse of a place? Yeah, what are you doing here? You're a gym leader. Aren't you supposed to be, you know, minding your gym? It's kind of hard to answer. I mean, you can do pretty much anything you want down here. There's no laws in the underground. <laughs> For instance, you can dig up fossils and treasure. You can make your own secret base. You should talk to the underground man in Eterna City to learn more. I did. He sent me down here. Why is the way to go back to the surface? Remember, why? 
Have to get going. See you around. Oh, God. He just flew away. All right. Don't kiss him. Don't worry. I won't. Um. Oh? Eggo? Is our egg hatching? <gasps> Eggo! Here comes the boy. Aww. And if he hatched from the egg. Cute egg. Pretty sassy. It's mischievous. It likes better foods. Tail glow. It's a chow. <laughs> it does look like a chow. All right. There's one diglet. Two. I have to get 40 of these? Oh yeah, there is a little counter over there. My goodness. Hello, I'm Emmy. I get super excited when I open a stone box. I can't help but hope I'll find a statue I've never seen before. Okay. Am I just supposed to walk around? Like what exactly? Yep, okay. Fair enough. Fountain Spring Cave. Oh, this is pretty. Badoof? Hello? Oh, okay. Well then. Come on, Boyne. You can dig and explore? How do I dig, though? That's right, be poisoned. Don't know how to do it in the remake? Oh, wow. Well. The underground man did not tell me. He was not very helpful. In the original, you just tap the screen. Um, yeah, I don't think that's gonna work here. Blaine, one step closer. Oh, and Manaphy. <laughs> We're to level five. GG, Manaphy. Oh, look, Gastrodon. They're just chilling. There's Weasel. I like that they're in the overworld. Is that how it was in the original? Oh, God. They weren't? Well, that's a cool addition. I like seeing Pokemon in the overworld. Really wish we saw a shiny Pokemon in the overworld, but, you know, it's fine. This entire hideout part is new to the remake. Sir. Sir. Please stop. Oh, I can't fish? Okay. Well, fine. Can I fish here? No. Thanks, Kotana. Let's go was too good to us. Seriously, though, seeing shinies in the overworld was awesome. I'm trying to... What does this mean on the map? Like, the little yellow thing. Shiny Pokemon do not appear in the overworld. You need to encounter them in battle to check. The only shiny Pokemon who appear in the overworld is your shiny Pokemon following you. Well, that's good to know. Oh, the yellow spots are where you can dig. Okay. It was right trigger, by the way. Oh. There's a note tucked inside the Explorer kit. 
digging for fossils. I put a sledgehammer and pickaxe in your explorer kit, as every 10-year-old should have. Use them and you'll be able to dig all dig out all sorts of stuff from the walls before the wall comes tumbling down that is this seems dangerous all right something pinged oh i don't i guess i'm doing this right You press R when you're close to sparkling spots on your map. Use a hammer to find the treasure and pick pickaxe to carefully dig it out. Okay. Ooh. What we got? What we got? What we got? What we got? Something. How do I switch? Okay. Right button. Oh. Wait. Which one's which? This looks like a hammer. I'm gonna find the treasure pickaxe. So is the other one supposed to be the pickaxe? They both look like hammers to me. Just leave it alone, you collect everything afterward? Oh, okay. So wait, what happens if I do this? Boom. The wall collapsed. You got a red sphere, L. Okay. Diglet. There we go. That's the currency. Oh, four confirmed. Okay. Currency of the underground. Is there like a trick to this? Oh, well, I found something. Here's two. No, damn it. Well, we got a red sphere. Hello. Got any small sphere spheres? If you do, I'll trade you something. I have, I have one. Hmm. Fifteen. Pedestals. Okay, bye. this okay so that's done right over here now sphere what's this pretty stone box the stone box started to shine a 
Chimicho Stout statue appeared? Chimichow? Chimicho? Well, I have that now. There's a complicated trick, but it's gonna take a lot to explain it. Statues increase spawn rate by type. That was a cute statue. Okay, so this would be an electric type then. Curry playing Animal Crossing New Horizons right now. Shocked Curie would do such a thing? Didn't know Curie played that game. Aw, Luxray statue. That's cool. So do I have to actually put them in the base? I finally got everything. All right, let's see. Blue sphere L, blue sphere S, and a box. Oh, pseudo wudo. As long as you have a certain drill, you can get a drill? Oh, for the, um, to make a secret base, you mean? You start from the upper left, hit the spot two squares down, two squares to the right, continue every two, start a new row, two squares down, since everything is roughly three by three. This way, the location you dug out can show where, like, oh, that is a lot. That is complicated. <laughs> okay, so this is like the sensor. Right button is kind of the, the sensor for dig spots. This is, we might end up just doing this on Monday. Just hanging out in the underground. When do I get fly? That yeah, would be good to know. Ooh, dragon type, maybe? Bet that's what that is. Probably up here somewhere. Bailstone City, so like the third gym. Okay, that's not too bad. When you go back up, the old man will give you the drill. It's part of your underground quest. Okay. Cool. statue Let's see what we got over here more Bidoof oh I cannot go I was trying to avoid Gastrodon ah 
Well, I mean, I guess I could try to catch one for the decks. Oh, hello. While we're here. Oh, jeez. struggling. I wonder if there's anywhere down here where you can heal your Pokemon. Maybe that would be something you could do in the base. Fledge! Unnecessary. Oh. Interesting. Love Gastrodon. Is it water ground? Used one in my first ever playthrough of Platinum. They sort of look like they could be in the Gumi family. Oh no, Razzle. Try to catch this boy. Water ground, oh, okay. There aren't any, unfortunately. The base is solely for putting statues. Hate that they removed the ability to decorate it like a seeker base. Oh, that's a bummer. Manaphy keeps growing. It has a pliable body without any bones. If any part of its body is torn off, it grows right back. That's a little terrifying to think about. Makes me think of the slugs in, um, my weasel. Makes me think of the slugs in Bioshock. <laughs> Some Pokemon are creepy. Yes, they are. Switcheroo. If it's in with Gumi, they're all Jello. Somebody should do a Jello squad. Playthrough of only Jello Pokemon. What would be all the Jello Pokemon? So Gumi, Gastrodon, Ditto. Muck. Wayne is out here trying his best. Muck is jello left out for a month. Oh, gross. This way. I was I was really hoping we could catch Hound Doom. Do I need to go to a specific area? These are all question marks, so I assume once I go in there they'll they'll show. But so far we've just been hitting like water. Oh, spacious cave. 
<laughs> There's a Psyduck. So this one is different. Okay. Geodude. That thing. <gasps> Shinx, no, Geodude. You have a choice of six caves to get Houndoom. Okay, so we should we should come across one. It's just kind of random, I guess. Mega Punch. My word. Come on, Advil. Don't punch it. Don't punch Advil. She's already got a headache. She doesn't need this shit from you. Oh, Boyne, almost level 20. No. My chop. A lot in this one. Go this way. Dazzling Rocky, Sand Seer, Star Gleam, Typhlo, and Volcanic Caves. Okay. Grassland. Well, not what we were looking for, but that's all right. This is you bad out here. Scyther! Combi! Not the bees! So it's just a matter of time to find the right cave. Yeah. Hi, Combi. Bye, Combi. Scyther's a rare spawn. Is he still out there? Oh, let's get him. Oh, poor Boyne. Boyne leveled up, which is good. Only need two more. Mm. No. Geodude baned that scyther. <laughs> oh, combi. Let's see if this one's female. Pokemon joined to become one. It busily carries sweet nectar to Vespa Queen. Has anyone ever used Vespa Queen?
Um, so we're gonna have to go back up here. I have Vesp Vespa Queen is pretty good. She can be really tanky. No wonder four times damage from a rock Pokemon for Scyther. Yeah, I was I was thinking because we were close in level that it would be close, but I wasn't expecting a full one shot. All right, so we'll try we'll try this room up here. Almost did since I did a shiny hunt for shiny Combi, but I got a male instead. All oh, bummer. Have some zoo bad in here. This thing, that thing. Plus, she learned some good moves. She has her own version of Recover and Cosmic Power, basically. Oh, that's cool. Skaroopy. I didn't know Skaroopy was all the way back to Gen 4. Darn, I was hoping I could just... Hey, Dalton. Dwayne, and this is Dwayne. <laughs> He's pretty great. Tackle. Well, actually, growth. I'll just get rid of that first. GG, Lockjaw. Living up to your name. I just want Houndoom. And then our team. I, I mean, our team's pretty much complete then. Unless I see something else that I want later on. Nope, nope. Uh Just you, Zubat over there? I think so. Yeah, Psyduck is named Advil. <laughs> oh, Cortana. Another. Oh, Murkrow. I want Murkrow. Hey, buddy. I wish Razzle hadn't fainted. Skaroopy was a pretty rare Pokemon in the original since it only appeared in Gen 4's version of the Safari Zone. So I constantly forget that Skaroopy came out in Gen 4. Yeah, I thought it was later, but clearly not. Rude, stop that. Okay, well, I keep severely underestimating Dwayne. It's fine. There's Rhyhorn. Neo Dude again. There's another Murkrow. Side duck. Okay, where are you at, Murkrow? Hmm. 
<laughs> Dwayne channeling his father, Rock. like thunder wave or something you know confetti oh this is a problem Nice job, Dwayne. All right, get in the ball. Darkness Pokemon. All right. Well, I guess we'll keep looking. For our Hound Doom. Uh, we got a room. Ooh, hello, Diglett. We got a room over there. These guys do not spawn that often. It would take a while to collect 40. Oh! Doug Trio, we got some more points, though. What's in here? Another Fountain Spring Cave. Oh, hello. No. Psyduck! No. Psyduck, leave me alone. I just want this. If you play online, your online friends can contribute to the count. Hmm. That would be useful. Spacious cave. Great. I do. Keeps your count? Like if I were to leave? Another spacious cave? Nope. Oh, Houndoom. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, well, F. Nice try, Boyne. cave system requires you to walk to the location and dig underground. Smash being 40 and would be better than SmackDown, and here we are. <gasps> Geodude is wrecking shit. I didn't see a Hound Doom in the other spacious. Section, so all Pokemon in a hideout are determined the moment you enter so if you can save so if you can save and restart oh and he'll be back it didn't mention anything about Houndoom being in a spacious cave at all yeah because I didn't think you said spacious but oh i mean before you fight oh gotcha i was like how would this help i thought maybe it would reset it but okay well it's fine what if i go back in there Did it reset it must because there's murkrow eh no nope Well, this is fine. This works. Saving then restarting the game will not change encounters. Dusk balls have a better effectiveness in the underground. Does that count? Or does it not count? Because it's not technically a cave. Hurtful. Hurtful and unnecessary. Honestly, no idea. This can be fun. Let me try to get one more tackle in. It was a crit. Because of course it was. Okay, I'm gonna go up and heal and get the drill and then we'll just come back. What's up? See that you've gone underground, well done. Take these as a reward. Oh, thank you. 
There are apparently some Pokemon in the Grand Underground that you can't normally find around here. Meeting a new Pokemon is a hundred times more fun when it's a rare one. Alright, well, I'm gonna heal. I'm probably gonna pick up some Great Balls if they're available. Might give us a better chance. I think I read somewhere that encounters in the hideout have a lower than average catch rate, so it might weaken the Dusk Ball, even if it does work. Hmm. Well, eh. All right, where's the Mart? Hello. I cannot buy any Great Balls yet. Hmm. Damn it. Well. Yeah, I figured stargazing. I didn't know if, if having one badge would allow me to buy great balls or not. I guess not. While you're digging, you may uncover dark rocks. They're very hard. If you keep hitting them, the wall will collapse. Hmm. All right, where's the drill? We need to dig up some treasures. Okay. He did not give me a drill. Funny seeing how in the Pokemon Center in older games you can't actually buy balls. Yeah, they combine the Pokemon Center and the Mart in later games, which I kind of like, but. So can I just use this here? Whoop. I believe the drill is the reward for the last quest from him, okay. I just want to get Hound Doom because it sounded from the gym leader's name. It sounded like this is going to be a grass type gym. Excuse you, the do. Your diglets reset. Sad. Hey, souls monkey. Yeah, it might. It might be better to play with other people for the Diglett thing. I don't know how that would work, but... Oh wait, was that a spacious one? Yeah. Houndoom? Magnemite? Please stop chasing me. Do not want. It is a grass type gym. However, please note that Houndoom may not have a fire type move since it's an evolved Pokemon, so it learns fire moves pretty late. If you're lucky, your Houndoom may come with one though. Here's another question. When do you get to the breeder? Not that it matters, but thanks. I would hope that Houndoom would at least have Ember, but maybe not. I feel like taking a break. Rest is important too, you know. Rest? Ah, so there is a healer. Well, that would have been useful. I wonder if he's always there or if he moves around. Got the third badge after getting my butt handed to me twice. Aw, oh, Souls Monkey. On your way to the third gym. Where the breeder is. Okay. Oh, hey, Nurkrow. Found A lot of Murkrow in here.
NPCs will move around. Okay. Bunnyary. that hitbox. <laughs> Third gym I was worried about with my rock type only run, but I taught Golem Fire Blast and melted Lucario. Well, that works. Oh, hello. Wow, blue. Nope. Leave me alone, Machop. Let's see if we get a different room down here. in here. Rocky cave. Well, it makes sense that Geodude is here. Scroopy Onyx. I'm gonna grab this TM. Onyx does look really tiny. Nope. Yeah, I don't think Hound Doom's gonna be in there. Hello, I'm Seamus. I haven't seen Rourke today. I wonder where he usually hangs out. Maybe there was a cave in. Who knows? We may never see him again. I just want Hound Doom. <laughs> That's all I want. Ah! Hound Doom. Get out of here, Geodude. You don't even belong in here. Neither do you. Get out. Leave. Just get out. <laughs> Shit. Right. Rocky Caves is one of the right caves for Houndoom spawning? Really? Oh, well, there's one. Hey, buddy. Unnecessary. Well, this one has fire spin. Poor Blaine. Blaine's had a rough day. Use bite, not very effective. Just a little more. Nice job, Razzle. Okay. Hmm. 
No. There it is. Houndoom is considered a rare spawn, and all rare spawns will have one egg move. This is where RNG comes in. Houndoom has a lot of egg moves, so the chance of it getting Fire Spin or Fire Fang is low. Oh, cool. Let's name her... If it was a boy, I was going to name it Cerberus, but since it's girl, let's name her Nyx. Add to party. All right, Manaphy. You're going to go hang out with Jirachi and Mew. Alright, let's see what we got. Level 18, not too bad. Bashful, nods off a lot, happily eats anything. Flash fire. Okay. Fire spin, smog, roar, and bite. Not too bad. At least we have fire spin. I'll take it. Because I don't think... I don't think the other ones we encountered had fire spin because I feel like they would have used, or a fire move, because I feel like they would have used it against Lockjaw. Um. So this is most likely gonna be our team. I'm gonna pop out of here. I think what I'm gonna do is focus on the underground in tomorrow's stream, like Monday's stream, because it's kind of like, it's not really, main story stuff, like we can just kind of um, explore, dig around, maybe catch some Pokemon that we need, stuff like that. So I think that's probably what we're going to focus on tomorrow. The last one had Thunder, Thunder Fang, yeah. I think Thunder Fang was the previous one's egg move. Yeah, I think you're right. Which is cool, but... I wanted a fire move. All right, let's see if we can do this gym. Where was the gym? No, that's a Team Galactic building. Down here. All right, Boyne. You need to not be first. Hey there, how's it going, champ to be? Actually, that's why I said to some boy who zipped in here earlier, too. Gym leader Gardenia is a user of grass type Pokemon. Should be obvious, but grass type Pokemon really hate fire. Uh, you can't challenge the gym leader until you find and beat all the trainers. Okay. That's fine. Well, found you. <laughs> At my gym, no one gets to battle with the gym leader. Me until they've beaten all the other trainers. I'll be waiting for you in the back. Okay. All right. Sure. It's another forest. Oh, jeez. Can you imagine how long this would take IRL? Especially if you have like 20 people in line trying to do the gym. So I'm assuming that's where she'll be. Hey, Kiwi. How'd you know where to find me? Let's have our battle. How did you fit all these trees into this tiny building? Ruby. I'm sad they got rid of the gym layout from Platinum. The Platinum, in Platinum, the entire gym had a beautiful flower clock design. Oh, that is a bummer. Eat it.
Yeah, I wasn't. I, I didn't stream on Monday because I figured I would want to stream this game since it just came out. So we're doing an, an extra stream today instead of doing one on Monday. Last Monday, yes, we are gonna stream tomorrow. We're just gonna do underground stuff, so it's if you're you know, if you want the actual like story and stuff, we're not gonna be doing anything like that. We're not gonna be progressing or doing any gyms or anything tomorrow. We'll just be chilling in the underground. My grass type Pokemon can dole out some serious special attacks. Well, I can set them on fire. So. And or poison them. The sky is just a wall, Truman Show. <laughs> I love my demon puppy. What does Badoo evolve into? Okay, so it does evolve into Roselia. How many do you need, ma'am? You know what? It's like the Magikarp fisherman all over again. Rest. You're gonna be resting forever soon. Antidotes, but I don't know if I have a uh, paralysis heal. How did the sleeping Pokemon dodge the attack? That's a good question. It didn't dodge that. the three trees. What do I have? Oh, I do. Done. Alright. Found you. She's got one. Turtwig! Look at the baby. Mm. 
Not as cool as mine. Can NPCs have shinies in this in this game? I don't think so. At least I hope. <laughs> Beside four flat. How many are there on you? I would be so envious if they can. Since you need the Sinnoh decks to get the national decks, almost all of the Sinnoh Pokemon can be seen, even the starters. Well, somebody else we came across had a Piplup, so. Oh, come on, man. Trying not to use up all of my fire spins. Imagine fighting a gym leader and their main Pokemon is a shiny. Quickly take care of this poisoning. And I think I'm just going to use a regular potion. I have a few, so. Yeah. We'll save. You kept me waiting. I'm a turn as gym leader, Gardenia, the grass-type master. When I first saw you, I was convinced you'd find your way to me. My hunch was right on the money. You have a winning aura about you. Well, thanks. Your gym was convoluted and annoying. You should think about redoing it. You have a cool cape, though. She looks like she's from Attack on Titan. <laughs> Hit. Eat it. She would be the first dead in Attack on Titan? I don't know. She doesn't have a side ponytail. Fuck you! Burn the down the entire forest and build the flower clock. That's right. Finally, jeez.
Great. You know, it'd be great if I got poisoning on Cherubi. When this fight is over, she gets eaten alive out of nowhere. I'm done with you. Twig. Turtwig is popular. We got multiple super potions. I see how it is. There we go, finally. Finally got the poison, my word. All right, poison should take care of him. Bye. <laughs> Rose raid. Not the end yet. Yeah, I'm aware. Good job, Nix. Avoiding that attack like a champ. Hmm. That seemed like a lot of damage. Considering, but you know, it's fine. Hmm. I don't know if Wayne can finish this. It'd be great though, because then he'd level up probably. We're gonna try. It's not gonna be great, but we're gonna try. Maybe get confusion going. I guess Nyx is too chonky. I mean, yeah, Nyx would... Oh, and you have a berry. Yeah, I guess Nyx is heavy. I don't know how much we're going to get out of Poison Fang, but... Wow, you snapped out of that confusion pretty damn quick. Probably better... Probably still better than Astonish, though. Crit. What, are you going to use another potion? Because I would not be surprised. Come on, boy. Make this happen. Yes. There it is. Finally. Advil wants to learn the move Screech. I, I'm good, but that does not surprise me. 
Wayne hates flowers reminds him of his parents. Wayne is evolving. He's going to be growing eyeballs. It's got to be very painful for him. His mouth also became the majority of his body. And he grew feet. That's right. It loves the blood of humans and Pokemon. It flies around at night in search of neck veins. What the fuck? <laughs> All right. What are we getting? Ew, what the fuck? <laughs> like, what kind of Pokedex entry is that? Neck veins? Definitely a vampire. With the forest badge, the hidden move cut will be available. Yes. And you have two gym badges. All Pokemon you, you received in trades will obey you up to level 30. Wow. We got stickers. Boyne, calm down. We get it. You tasted victory, but relax. I mean, Boyne's parents were murdered in front of him. I can understand why he's a little bit upset. Grass knot. All right, let's see what we what we got from that. Place sticker. Ooh, I might do that for Nick. There we go. Mm. Sinister sticker. Cute pink spiral. There we go. And then we'll do that. Your first badge got dirty. This reminded me that I read that they kept the badge cleaning feature in the remakes. Oh, I gotta clean my badges is what you're saying. Move all stickers. Yes. New Pokemon. So we're gonna make one for Nyx. Put some stickers. Put some more stickers for Dwayne here. He needs more stickers. bubbles. Just bubbles. And we'll do these 
spirals too. All right. Beautiful. Boyne just slapping there screaming justice and frothing. <laughs> How do I clean my badges? few badges like this okay hang on how do i clean them though i am seeing no option to clean the badge it just says close or open well f Now I leave. I just read that you could. I didn't read how. I wonder if I have to do it in handheld mode. Like maybe it won't let me do it. Let's go heal. Not at the bike store. So we now need to get Boyne to love us. We gotta increase our friendship with Boyne so that he can evolve into a crowbat. And that's gonna be interesting. I know that you can give them a soothe bell to make them friendlier, but I'm not sure where to get that. Um, also, I think you can give them like massages or haircuts or something. Which makes them friendlier. I already talked to you guys. Let's go check out the cycling shop. The manager's gone off to the Team Galactic building. Oh, I see how I get a free bike. Can I just steal one? He's not here. I mean, that kid might tattle on me, but still. Did Cheryl give you the Soothe Bell when you left the forest? Did she? I don't think so. Well, let me look. TMs. No, she did not. Is she supposed to? No, she just pieced out. Hey, Leish. You got Bleasel, Chatot. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh wait, did we ever catch a Bleasel? Oh, we didn't. We didn't. I thought we did. Okay, well, later. Later, buddy. Oh, there's the name raider. No. My source is also lying to me. Well, Hello. Thank you. That was for recycle? User recycles a held item that has been used in battle so it can be used again. Anything in the garbage? No. The kid can't tell anyone if Boyne eats them, <laughs> just saying. Can you give me some stickers? Sir? Fine. 
I just want stickers. Is that too much to ask? I wonder if I can buy great balls now. No. Fine then. Kotana, you okay? You okay over there? Can I go here? That was your cat saying hi? Keen, a long time no see. Oh, you look puzzled. You're wondering who I am? I'm Professor Rowan's assistant, Lucas's father. Yeah, I forgot about you. I've come a long way at the behest of the professor to help you on your adventure. How many Pokemon have you met? Uh... 45, I guess? Wonderful, yes, bravo. Professor Rowan should be delighted. Here's something for you. Oh, rare candy, thank you. You need a bike. Okay, well, so it's gonna make me fight Team Galactic. Why does the Lucas get a dad, but not the protagonist? No dad for you. Are you going here? No. Welcome to the herb shop. Yeah, Pokemon don't like these. They're bitter. Oh, hello. There's some writing on the Pokemon statue. Dia, once created, brought time into being. In laughter or in tears, the same time flows. Such is the blessing of Dia. The text is barely legible and has faded it completely in some places. Gee, what Pokemon could that be? Dia! <laughs> Oh, are you kidding me? How in the... Come on, Badoof. Ego! Thief. Well, I got that. Was it worth it? No. Not really. Oh, I can go a little further. You, their kid, stay away from that Pokemon statue. Mm, don't tell me what to do, you're not my dad. I don't have a dad. Oh, I meant to talk to her too. Thief is pretty good. A lot of the trade evolution materials you can just steal from wild Pokemon. Oh, that's true. You could, you could steal from wild Pokemon. There's usually not much to steal in battle, though, is there? What's in here? What's in here? That guy has quite a haircut. Wow! Badoof! Anyone else in here? Ponyta? Hi, Ponyta.
Yay. Nope. Let's go to a box. Um, I thought someone said last night that you could bring Pokemon into this game, but you can't trade them out. Is that is that how it works? Oh, hello. I guess you want to fight. I was referring to things like protector, electri electrizer, and metal coat. Pokemon have them, and if you and you can use them to evolve your own Pokemon, Thief can help. Good plan. I'm gonna bite this rock. something to do. Hey, buddy. doubt you can bring Pokemon out of them. Yeah. But I was thinking for completing the decks, if I can import them, that would might be easier to do, especially if they're Gen 1 Pokemon. They're pretty easy to get in Let's Go. Look at these beautiful wings! How much hairspray did it take to get her hair to look like that? That is a question I have. Then yeah, definitely I read in the data mine that the games do have those generation symbols in it, so Pokemon should be able to be transported in from other generations. But is that available now or is that gonna be later? Like a whole tub of gel. I'm gonna guess two cans of it. It's either hairspray or gel, or it's straight up glue. later so we can't now dang i'm still debating if i'm gonna complete the pokedex or not i might i mean i've done it for every game since i want to say x and y so i might just do it even if it's not worth it This thing. Diaper onion baby. I hate that monkey. Yeah, I don't like it either. Does anyone like this monkey? Um, 
I'm sure someone does somewhere. Filling out the decks without home is going to be a pain solely because of Phoebus and Heracross. Yeah. Mm. But you said that home is supposed to be coming in what, January? Ish. going on in here. <laughs> Welcome to Team Galactic. Are you here to donate your Pokemon? No. Sorry, dearie. Team Galactic doesn't accept children as members. Really? Because you all look like children to me. I believe so. I remember them saying that home connectivity would roll around, roll out around the same time as Legends. Okay. The hell is this Children of the Corn shit? Everyone is a child in this version. I mean, they definitely look like it. Still better than Team Yell, at least they are creepy. Yeah, Team Yell was just glorified uh, invisible walls to keep you from going places. I will say I appreciate that this remake doesn't really do that that much. I mean, there are certain places you can't go until you get, you know, HMs or whatever, but it's not like, here's where the gym is. Let me drag you all, you know, the whole way across town. We're gathering Pokemon for an astonishing undertaking. Your meddling won't be tolerated. Well, we'll see about that. Wormple. Again, if you're going to try to be threatening, Wormple is probably not the best Pokemon for that. Who is Team Yell? They're in Sword and Shield. They just have megaphones and scream. That's all they do. Who doesn't even remember? miss Team Skull. At least Team Skull was interesting and they were kind of a joke. Hi Def! How are you doing? How's life? Life is getting real? Oh no. <laughs> They're all just staring at their wallpaper. We just got back from looking at some houses and found one we like. Well, that's good. Oh, thank you, DJM, for shouting out Def. You guys should definitely go check out and follow Definition, who is playing Lost Art. They're basically cheerleaders for Marnie who blocked your ways for no reason. Yeah, that's that's Team Yell. They do nothing. Team Skull is amp, but I do like Guzma. Guzma's theme is poppin'. Yeah, it is. I was okay with Team Skull. I like their aesthetic. And I liked that 
again, they were kind of this, like, joke overall. Like, people just didn't take them seriously, which is kind of funny. I think Team Yell might actually be the worst team. They really did nothing. Hello, would you like to fight me? No. Would you like to fight me? People were like, oh, it's Team Skull, they're nothing to worry about. Yeah, they took over a whole town and people were like, eh. <laughs> no one cared. Oh, you got offered a job with a salary position. Exciting, Dev. Congrats. Life is getting real for you. <laughs> what is this? Well, this is failure. Get used to it. Well, I hope your baby's doing well. That is exciting though, like finding a nice house and getting a new job. All exciting things. Everything's turning up Mill House. <laughs> Well, I'm currently working on my dream to become a Pokemon trainer. As a 10 year old, uh, it's time I start taking things seriously and leave home, go on dangerous quests, you know. Leaving home at 10 like all the great heroes of old, that's right. Fight criminal organizations, wander without supervision. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I was given a sledgehammer. We got a really sad looking scientist over here. I'm glad you're self aware, buddy. Oh. Okay, well, I guess you're gonna fight me. Wow. Tr Trabin? There are your cheekbones. My goodness. If you were a scientist in 2021, you'd be sad too. <laughs> Even Hubert's like, that's too much. Why couldn't they have everyone look like they do in battles when walking around? I, Lacious, that is my question. It looks so much better when you're doing battles. All of the character models look better. So I don't know. 
Or why not have it look like Pokemon Sword and Shield? I don't... I, I don't get this chibi choice. What is it with this Team Galactic? Why did they take our Pokemon? What are they trying to accomplish? Did you let them take your Pokemon? Did you want something? How silly of me to even ask. You want to free the Pokemon. Yeah, that's gonna happen. I mean, it is, but... Would it really have been that bad to just use the Sword and Shield engine? Yeah, I don't... I don't know. I feel like they should have. Advil is just like MVP in here. Doing pretty well. The combat models are pretty on par. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe they're worried people complain. But I would have rather had that personally. I would have settled with Let's Go graphics. Yeah, or I mean, even Let's Go if you want to do something different. Enjoy your noms, Kotana. Boyne? Level 23. Mm hmm. I should probably use Nyx to get some levels. He's a little under leveled compared to everyone else. Not by much, though. Wow. That Pokemon is very you, ma'am. Thanks for that. Butt Pokemon. True. At least they didn't just pawn it off to a mobile game studio and hit auto reskin. Yeah. Could have been worse. It's just kind of a weird choice. Haha, <laughs> suck it. Attack like a champ. Mm, well, bye. That is... Team Galactic has some hair choices, let me tell ya. Well, aren't you tough? It's okay, though. Our official Pokemon statue investigation is finished. There's one statue. Like, how much investigation did you have to do? And Mars has collected energy from the Valley Windworks. We're pretty much finished here. I'll let you in on one little thing. Our boss is researching the myths of ancient Pokemon. With the power of mythical Pokemon, he will be the ruler of Sinnoh. I suggest you keep out of Team Galactic's affairs from now on. This is your last warning. Yeah, okay. I got, like, my Clefairy back, and it's all thanks to you, but that Team Galactic... They said Clefairy came from space! Hand it over! <laughs> wow. Their logic baffles me still. It's like they are from space. They wish. Anyway. Free bike. Probably. Hopefully. Hey, Scarlet Vixen. Yes, Houndoom is the last member of our team. Uh, 
That's true. They're probably not very good at investigative work. Oh, the trees grew back. That was quick. Let's heal up. Free bike, free bike. Thanks for rescuing me. I can't thank you enough. Say, let me give you a bike to show my gratitude. Sweet. I'd like you to choose a color for your bike. Which one will it be? Ooh. Mmm. There's no purple. I will pick blue. Do you want a blue bike? Mmm. No. Let me see red. Why is why does it have to be yellow? No, I hate that the most. Fine, we're going with blue. I changed my mind, we're going with red. Red it is. Press the B button to shift gears. In third gear, the bike cannot reach full speed, but it will be easier to handle. In fourth gear, it can ride at full speed and climb up slopes. Okay, sweet. a bike oh wow you got a bike you can ride down cycling road and end up in heart heart home city oh are you you're you're preventing me from going backwards now i see how it is it's fine well we got a bike hooray so just a little past five. I think I'm going to end it here because I don't really want to go too far from here since tomorrow we're just going to be doing um, underground stuff. Um, so, Oh, sorry, Tim. <laughs> um, yeah, so tomorrow, Monday, we'll be doing two to five and we'll just be chilling, hanging out in the underground, um, like digging stuff up and doing the quest for, for our, our bro, the underground man. Um, so not gonna like progress the story or do any more gyms or anything. So if you can't make it, you're not gonna miss any of that. Um, then Tuesday, we should be just playing normally and continuing on. Um, Thursday, I don't know what we're gonna do Thursday. Maybe we'll shiny hunt Thursday. We'll do something on Thanksgiving. So if you, uh, if you wanna hang for a couple hours, it'll be probably the two to five slot. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what the what the week looks like.